right guys, a really popular bait to catch a bass is a jig. And what I always do is I put a crawfish style trailer on the back. And when doing this, you wanna make sure you thread it on the hook perfectly straight like this. That way when it's swimming through the water, everything looks nice and natural to the fish. And in the end, it'll result in more bites. All right guys, one knot everyone should know is the Palomar knot. Super simple. Simply put your line through your hook eyelet, go back through it so you create a loop, and then knot that loop around your main line, go around the bait, and then cinch everything together when you're done, wet it a little bit, and then trim your tag end. You're done, the Palomar knot. Hey guys, my favorite knot for braided lines or fluorocarbon is called the double duni. Here's how you tie it. Put the line through the eyelet, come back through so you make a loop. Then you're gonna bring that loop so it's parallel to your main line, which then creates another loop and you're gonna wrap inside of it four to five times. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna pull the loop and the tag in so everything becomes tight wet it, slide it down, pull it so it's nice and tight. And then you're gonna cut your loop and your tag end. So you're gonna have actually three tag ends when the time you're done. That's it, the double duty. Hey guys, really easy knot for you guys called the fisherman's knot. Here's how you tie it. Take your line, thread it through the eyelid of your bait, stick your finger in there, wrap five to seven times around the main line with the tag end. Go back through the loop you've made because of your finger and then that'll create another loop. Go back through that loop with the tag end and you're done. Wet it, cinch it down, cut off your tag end and you tie the fisherman knot. Hey guys, everyone knows how thin and strong braided line is but one of the situations I throw it in a lot is when you're on a heavy cover like these cattails or any type of aquatic vegetation, it'll actually cut that cover when you have a fish on and it'll make it easier for you to land them and put them in the boat. Hey guys, when I'm flipping for bass, I like to have at least two types of baits on my deck. One is this creature bait, like this fighting frog. It's got a lot of action, a lot of appendages coming off it. And then I have a trick stick here, which is just a five inch stick worm. And I'll alternate between them every single day to figure out what the fish want for that given day. Sometimes they want a lot of action, a lot of kickers. Sometimes they want absolutely no action. So if you're on the water, make sure you experiment, see what the fish want to bite for that day. Hey guys, if you're fishing for bass, a great lure to try is a bladed jig or what some people might call a chatterbait. Really simple, easy to use. Literally just throw the bait out there and slowly reel it back to the boat. It creates a lot of action. You're able to cover a lot of water with it and it produces a lot of strikes. Hey guys, when you're choosing your colors of soft plastics, think about the water clarity. If you're in dirty water, I like something real dark like this black and blue here. And then when I'm in clear water, I like something natural, greens, brown, something like this green pumpkin. Hey guys, when using a topwater frog, don't look at the back necessarily when choosing your color. Think about what you see on the belly. The fish are gonna be underneath it. So this is actually the color they're gonna see. What's up guys? Thank you for watching this video. Here at Parts View, we are very passionate about the boating lifestyle. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out partsview.com for all your boating needs. We'll catch you next time.